This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Do this. Run. Run this program to see how it works. That sounds like a good start to me. Click. And uh, you decide. Uh, dogs, always. Dogs, number one. <gasps> how majestic. Are there more? <gasps> no, more. Ugh, do I have to? Cats rule. <laughs> cool. Anyways, um, how does... The play sound block work. Oh, yeah, the animal sounds, which you can't, well, yeah. Um, so how does it work? Well, obviously, it plays the sound when the cat button is clicked. And then it, then that's it. So there's no dog sound, right? So on the event that the cat button is clicked, and if we want to know what that is for sure, I think we know, but I can go into design mode. I can click on cats and notice that this is called the cat button. So that means in this code over here, on the event that cat button, this button, cl is clicked, this stuff runs. And part of what runs is, hey, computer, play this sound file, wherever that is. Okay. How does the do the lines that start with slash slash run differently than others? Ah, this is a trap. Slash slash is the comment. So it actually doesn't run at all. This is what programmers use to leave notes for each other, right? If you're working on a huge video game, you have a ton of people employed working on it. So you would want to know what someone did last, or maybe they say, hey, don't touch this, I'm still working on it. And it's in a comment. Slash slash in many programming languages is a comment, and it means the compiler or the computer just ignores it. It's for us humans. All right. Add code so that the dog button makes a sound too. Yeah. Change the message when each button is clicked. Okay. So, we need the dog to make a sound, too. And play sound. I'm going to put it right here, I guess, where they had theirs. Now, let's select one. I think they have stuff preloaded if we click the down arrow. Choose. Yeah. Um, animals. Yep. And, oh my gosh, look at all these. Dog. I'll make my dog say a dog sound. Um, okay. Change the message when each button is clicked. So change the message. That's that property, right? So message label. What's message? Well, design. Here we go. Message label. Message label. So th that's what we need to change. Um, dogs are cool. I'm very creative. We're going to change that message there. Cats. Um, no. <laughs> Sorry if you're a cat person. All right, I'm going to go ahead and run. And dogs. Dogs are cool. And dog sound that you didn't hear. Cats. Cats know. And cat sound. Hopefully you didn't hear. But it's there. And cool. We did it. And so this is how on events work, right? On the event that the cat button's clicked or the dog button's clicked, and it runs the code inside. Otherwise, it just sits there and waits for us to run it. Cool. Let's keep going.